Welcome to the Support Center. My name is Tom. We're going to look at site design and how you can change the appearance of your website. Now the tools we're looking at here, we're just going to look at a brief overview of them. I won't get into all the minutia of the different things you can change because there's just too many settings to go over. And so I just want to look at some of the basic settings so that you as an admin who is not a graphic designer can make some really nice changes to your website and make it look nice. So I'm logged into my admin site. I go to appearance, it's going to default to site design, and here are the different design features that you can change. So I'm using the beach layout, number 401, come over here to my family site. If I refresh this, I will see that I'm using the beach layout. I can actually scroll out a little bit here and I can see the background image. It's a nice wave background there in the background. Okay, so that's the layout I've chosen. I can simply go back to my admin site. I can pick a different layout. Maybe I want to use Seashore. Scroll down, update, come to my family site, refresh, and there I'm using Seashore. So as long as you haven't done any customizations regarding design to your site, you haven't uploaded any of your own headers or anything like that, you can go through and change to different designs without any issues whatsoever. It's really easy to just pick a new layout update it, come to your family site, and refresh and see what it looks like and see what you like. Very, very easy to do and you can do that as much as you want without affecting any of your website content. So hopefully that gives you still a very nice looking website. Now you can get into some more of the details here and I won't, like I said, go into all the minutia of what you can do. But here there's seven different tabs. So I'm gonna look at headers right now. Headers, this is the very top of your website. Now we provide six rotating headers. You can have up to six. You can actually link these to different area website. You can change the names of them. You can change the images of them. You can get into all the little detail of what you can do here. I'm just gonna click on some so you can see them. They automatically rotate through. If I come back here to my admin site, I go to headers and I scroll down. I can actually change the headers. Maybe I wanna pick a different stock header. So let's find one that's appropriate here. Maybe this one with the goldfish. Click update. Refresh, I'll see that that's automatically changed for me once I pick the new header. Okay, I could upload my own header images if I wanted to. Here's the dimensions that I would go by. 1250 by 275 is the dimensions. Just the thing you want to remember is your header is long and narrow. And if I were to upgrade, upload maybe a photo that I've taken myself with a camera, the website's going to make it fit. So it's going to be very distorted. If you upload just a regular photo, you'll want to crop it to those dimensions before you upload it. And many, many other features you can do on these headers. You can change the names, change the text, change the size of the text, link them to different areas of your site. Um, let's say you only have a couple headers. Maybe you only want to show one header. Maybe I just want to show this one header. I could actually go through and disable all the other ones. I would disable header two through header six. Just disable all of them and save my settings. Really, really easy to do. Okay, the footer, this is the very bottom of your website, the foot of your website. So here's the footer area. I can change the content of the footer or I can change the layout. So I'm using layout option A. Maybe I wanna change it to option D. Here's the organizational input. I can change that. I can add social media links, change the colors. Again, I don't wanna get into all that detail. Come back here and refresh, and there you can see my layout changed of that footer. To change it back, or change it to a different one, I'd come back here to my admin site, pick a different layout, update it, refresh, and there I have that layout. Really, really easy to make those changes. Okay, the menus, these are different colors of your menu and different layouts, how it works, different font sizes, different fonts. Styles, here's where I could actually change or upload my own background image. So that background image is what appears behind your site. So if I zoom out here, so you can see it, there you go, that's that background image that's behind my site. Also remember that on a mobile device or a smaller screen, you won't see that. But on a PC or a Mac, you'll see that background image. Okay, and again, I can change colors here, change widget colors, change the way my widgets look. You know, I can turn these bars on and off for my head, my widgets if I wanted to. 
I think you get the ideas of how this works. Make them rounded. Okay, see how the corner's rounded? All kinds of detail changes that we can get into. Um, advanced, uh, favicon is one thing that's on here. That might be something you want to change. The favicon is this little dinky icon up here, this H for us. It needs to be 192 by 192 pixels. You would upload it here. This is where you set some of your SEO, main SEO features. And then site-wide code would be a really advanced feature for some advanced users. If you want to see the other sites that are, people are using, you come out here to sample sites and you can click on the template. Maybe it's train a child. You can see the groups that are using it, how many families they have, and you can actually view their site. So if I click on this, it opens their site. I can see what their design looks like. Okay. But I think you get the idea. So there is the overview of site design. Again, you come out here to your appearance, site design layouts, and here's where you would select the different layouts that you're using. And as long as you haven't done anything custom, you know, created any custom headers or custom colors, you can switch these back and forth as much as you want without causing any adverse effects on your site at all. I've got some groups that actually pick, you know, different holidays. Maybe it's Thanksgiving time and they want their site to be a Thanksgiving appearance like so. We also do offer some advanced site design. Um, so maybe you want to go really high tech and have someone assist you with your site design. And that's something the designer can help you with. There is a fee involved. Uh, usually it takes them six to eight hours of their time. So we do charge for that. And if I scroll down here, I should see some of these very custom sites. So let's see, here's one. There we go. Hill Country has a custom site design. I think if I zoom out, I will see that one of our graphic designers actually made their background image blend into their header. So that's a beautiful site. Uh, let's see another example that we may have here. Another example of a nice site. Really simple. They helped with that. So if you want some assistance with your design, we have a graphic design team that can assist you as well. And like I said, there's a fee involved. It's not a free service because it usually takes between six and eight hours for them to create a design for you. But they would work with you one-on-one -on -one to get that taken care of. And again, here's another one. I think this one, the header, bleeds into the background. Yep, so it looks like one seamless thing where the header actually bleeds into the uh, background image. You get the idea, I think. Okay. But again, if you just have a basic design and uh, you don't need any assistance, you come here to Appearance, Site Design, and you can change these layouts as much as you want. If you need further assistance, you can come to your admin homepage and click on the Create a Ticket button.